this LP pretty huge for me. Let me bite this tic tac, hold on. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Willa Holland voiced Aqua, which is cool. I don't know who she is, but she's cool. Leonard Nimoy for Xehanort. Haley Joel Oldsman. Yeah, well, he is Sora's voice actor, too. You know, Vanitas and Sora sh uh, share voice actors, just as um, Roxas and Ventus also share voice actors. Young Sora, young Riku, young Kyrie. Kyrie's grandma, and Zack, and. Real Sora, real Riku, real Kyrie, Roxas, and Namine. They don't really appear in this game, that's kind of weird. Um, yeah, alright, anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, I don't know, this LP, it's been big, and it's, like, I've been doing it since October, and now it's finally ending. I mean, I'm not going to be recording another video, you know, for like, I don't know, at least half a month now. It's gonna feel really weird, cause I got I gotta I gotta prepare stuff for FF12. I gotta get a new S video cable, cause mine broke, and um, oh, it's just so much other stuff. Like I gotta work on my practice file. I have to plan, you know, see when I'm gonna be doing side quests and all that. But yeah, um, but yeah, this is like this LP. It's, I met a lot of people doing this LP. You know, some, you know, just acquaintances, others, you know. There was one person I met doing this LP who I think is probably going to be one of my best friends for the rest of my life. And, you know, Hercules. No, not Hercules. And then, you know, I just... It was probably, definitely my, my most successful LP. And, yeah, I don't know. It's great. I'm going to feel really sad leaving it behind, but... Simple and Clean Planet B Remix. And the real Simple and Clean. That's the song playing right now, Simple and Clean. I'm talking over it because I'm pretty sure you've heard the song a million times. I mean, they've used it now. They've used Simple and Clean in Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, um, Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Oh, there's Aqua. And, oh, yeah, Ven and Terra too, but Aqua. And, uh, and the stars. Look to the stars. And then they also used it in this game, so they used it a lot. I hope they don't use uh, Simple and Clean for Dream Drop Distance. That'll be kind of upsetting, but yes. More credits. Thankfully, these credits are a bit more interesting because we got some scenes in the credits, you know, on the side. They started doing that, like, in Final Fantasy VIII. And, oh no, they didn't do it in Nine much. But where they had, like, little scenes on the side. I mean, I guess they do it in movies, too. I don't know, these credits seem longer than any movie I've seen. Terrace theme playing in the background. And then here's Huey, Dewey, and Louie, I think. Yeah, something like that. Racing and Rumble Racing. I gotta... I don't know, I'm not really into Rumble Racing. It's not Mario Kart. It doesn't beat Mario Kart. I mean, unless they make like a Kingdom Hearts Kart and make it better than Rumble Racing. And maybe I'll play it, but I don't know. Yay. They're all happy. Video effects, designers, so many people. But yeah, no, oh, I'm him Lipsent. I don't know, it's just crazy, and now, yeah, I'm done now. I mean, I guess I can spend more time watching LPs, because I'm behind on that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm in the middle of watching Nintendo Capri Sun's Wind Waker right now, because I finished watching Majora's Mask a while ago, and then I'm also watching Owl Fox the 13th's um, Wind Waker, because that's his current LP. It's actually really good. I suggest you go check it out. And, uh, what else? What other LPs am I watching right now? Um, Yoshi to Mario Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm, I'm watching that. And I will be watching Grand Pyromania's, uh, Pokemon Fire Red once he starts that, which is gonna be, um, it might be, I don't know, it's probably not the day this is uploaded, but it'll be close. I think it starts on the 22nd, something like that. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry I'm missing out on the birthdays, because, you know, I'm recording this all at once, and I didn't really make up a list. And, you know, I'm gonna kinda stop doing that soon anyway. Um, I mean, I'm probably, you know, I wish I could, like, mention all of you, but I, there's so many people who've asked, and I don't wanna, like, miss out on anybody, so I guess maybe it's better that I don't mention them, but happy birthday to everyone who said it's gonna be their birthday. I know someone said their birthday's gonna be on the 20th, and I don't know if this is being uploaded on the 20th or when, but... Definitely, you know, happy birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday when you have your birthday. And everything like that. 
Well, Ven theme plays in the background. It's ironic, because Ven and the dwarves never got along. <laughs> but yeah, once I start FF12, I'm, you know, probably not going to do shoutouts or anything. Or, you know, at least, I'm not going to do birthday shoutouts. I'll still, like, do shoutouts through my commentary if I happen to think of somebody. But I'm not going to do birthdays anymore, because it's just, like, I feel bad, because I, I always miss out on somebody. I always forget somebody. and then Or I say their name wrong or something. I'd just rather not do it. And... <laughs> yeah, just throwing them out. Lee and Isa. We'll see you more later, too. A lot more. But, yeah, they're gonna have some sea salt ice cream right now. I mean, there's one person that I will be giving a birthday shout out to. And that's, I think, on May 15th. Um, that's mainly because, um, you know, my friend Jordan, he's got his birthday, and I kind of promised a long time ago that I would give him a birthday shout out, and I offered it to him, so. Yeah, but apart from that, I think I'm I'm pretty much done with birthday shoutouts. I, it's too, it's more trouble than it's worth. I mean, I hope you have a happy birthday, but I don't expect anyone to give me a birthday shoutout when I have my birthday, which is August third, by the way. But it's funny, I share my birthday. I share, um, I think, yeah, my friend or not, yeah, my friend Barry. He has his birthday. Oh my God, Crisis Core Feather. Um. Yeah, I'd say you became a hero, Zach. I'd really say you became a hero, or you will. But, yeah, no, um, my friend Barry, his birthday's on my birthday. And then my cousin Michael, his birthday is also on my birthday. So it's crazy. We share the same birthday. You know, that's like that with my little brother, too. Uh, kind of. He was born on October 24th of 2000, and then my younger cousin was born exactly a month after, so they're exactly a month apart of the same year and that's kind of cool we have a lot of birthdays then we've been having a lot of birthdays like from people i know in like april i mean cloud fang lp had his birthday um ncs had his birthday chugga had his birthday i don't know chugga or ncs but still that's pretty big i know jay has his birthday like on the 26 or something uh well i'm hiccuping that's because i had the cheese and i have tic tacs now i'm gonna have one more There's me and Captain Hook. And he lost his hat. <laughs> That's cool. That fits you, Peter. That's like uh, my friend Avery. He wears hats all the time. Like, not in school because you can't wear them. It's or against the rules. But, like, as soon as school ends, he puts on his hat. He's known as, like, the hat boy in, like, anime club because he always wears his hat. Mickey, what are you doing? No, don't leave your profession. Oh, that's so nice. I love that little scene. That's why I didn't talk over it. And then Mickey picks it up. It's kind of like he finally won the respect of Jan of Gun Sid. And that's what I- that's a really good scene, I like it. It's short, but it's good. Here we are in Radiant Garden. Kyrie. Man, this cut- these credits are gonna take up, like, one video alone, jeez. What are you looking up at, Kyrie? What are you looking up at? Oh my god, this is great. I mean, it, it's a relief, too. You know, the, the fact that I'm done. It just is. I mean, I'm not gonna have to worry about recording for a little while. The hardest thing about recording is making sure I don't get interrupted. You know, I kind of failed today because I had to help my mom with stuff. But she gave me cheese, so it was cool. It's all good. You know, Pokemon Cheese from the Speed Gamers community. It's ironic, because Pokemon Cheese, or Cheese, we just call her Cheese, um, she doesn't like cheese. <laughs> but yeah, cheese is cool like that. I should talk to Cheese more. She's really nice. She gave me, like, last year when I had my birthday, I was in, like, um, I think, it might have been Yuso's show, and Cheese was commentating, and she, like, as midnight hit, she gave me a huge birthday shout out, and she was like, Happy Birthday, we! And everyone, like, Pokemon fan, and, like, I don't know, Stand, and, you know, Masa, and everyone in the TSG community, Austin, or Mr. Alan Mario, and then, um, you know, everyone was there, they were like, Happy Birthday, Happy Birthday, you know. That was great. 
That was a very, very good birthday last year. around me huh. all alone I followed the sound into a sea of light and found myself here with you mm. you gave me something back when I needed it most a second chance I did but now I have to go back to sleep again are you sad would you mind if I stayed here with you? Sure, if it'll make you feel better. Thank you. I think it worked. <laughs> yep. Oh, this is great. I love it. It's a great game. Definitely. I don't know. It's maybe not my favorite Kingdom Hearts game, but it's up there. At least number two. Because I love Kingdom Hearts 1 a lot, too. So they're kind of tied for me. In time. The world would be saved by these two heroes who stood beneath the same blaze of stars. Indeed. Man, oh man. I don't know what to say. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're not really, we're not, we're not really done. We got a little more. We got a little more. But we've reached the end of the actual game on proud mode. Well, except for Terra, but I did Terra on Proud Mode again later, so it's okay. Um, Archive, ar Archive, <laughs> Archive, Archive completion 89%. Hey, you know, that's that, that's a B plus. I'll take it. A minus B plus. Enemies defeated. Um, must use Command Aerial Slam. Really? I don't remember using it that much. Firestorm. Yeah, that's kind of you know predictable. And D Link is Ventus. Wow. Uh, playtime in total is 44 hours. You know, not bad. Uh, let's save. Yeah, we're gonna save. This is gonna be one LP that's going down in history. Uh, definitely. And I gotta save it because, you know, if you know, for the bonus episodes, and there will be bonus episodes. Don't worry. Definitely. Don't worry. There will be bonus episodes. You know, I got command board to show. I'll wait a little while before I show that though. But I will show that. And then I have um, maybe not Rumble Racing, but then I, you know, the mysterious figure fight, and then, you know, Vanitas is lingering sentiment. <clears throat> I need some water. I got water for this occasion, though. Water and Tic Tacs. You bet. Um, so yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to play the secret ending, and I'm not gonna talk until it's over. But here we go. Oh, no, that's not secret reports. No, 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 no. Theater. Blank points. Enjoy, guys. Damn! You've quite a mouth on you, princess. Forgive me. Tis your birth and faith that wrong you, not I.